Hello, welcome to the Staggernaut channel. This room looks a little different than normal. It, well, it's kind of the same room we're using <laughs> visual effects, but it looks different um, because this <laughs> to is To us, it looks exactly the same. Yes, to us, it looks exactly the same, but to you, it looks different. I just gave that away, but I'll keep it anyway. <laughs> um, this is called, we're calling this, I think I'm calling this Staggernaut's React. I don't know. Do you have any opinions on that? I, I don't know. Are, are we the Staggernauts? Yeah, I mean... Staggernauts channel yet. I mean, I'd, I'd say we're Staggernauts based okay. on the definition of a Staggernaut. Well, then, yeah, I, I think that's a good name then. Okay, all right, we'll call it, <laughs> we'll call it Staggernauts Reacts. What we're new is we're going to be reacting and watching a couple of videos, uh, different shows, different shows, different times, depending on what the episode is, different people. I may not be here. It may just be him. No, or him or and someone else. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Which, if you don't know him uh, officially. I was, was going to say, you know, we just, you know, yes. interesting. It's just me. And it's no just you. Who I am. I just you know, his name is, up. Yeah, his name is a secret. And, uh, <laughs> no, all, right, no. all right. So, um, no, yes. So, you might recognize me from the other videos. Of course, I'm Mr. Matthew, and I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Mr. Nathan. There you I'm go. his brother. So. There you go. That's I've, right. I've known him all of his life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Almost like brothers. Yeah. All right. So, um, so what, what we're going to... What, we, what are we watching? Huh? So, yes. Yeah, so today we're going to be watching uh, pretty much my favorite... I'd say it's probably my favorite show of all time, I think. I hesitate to say that because, you know, um, I may not be totally accurate. I may like another show better at a different <laughs> time. But... Um, depends on what time. It depends on what time. It does. Yeah. Um, so... Um, but this is called Bill Gunner. It has another name uh, called the Cimarron Trail. Cimarron Trail. So we may have some episodes that are titled that. Uh, that's a story, I think, for another time. Or, um, and so we're starting with the very first episode because where? Why should you start anywhere but the beginning? Right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. So I don't know. Here we go. Right. This is. I got to get this little uh, thing here. Dark screen so. fixed here. Any second now, maybe, maybe, wait for it, maybe, maybe, there we are, okay, this is our first time, so you get to, you get to ride along this, this with us here, alright, welcome, alright, so, here we go, we're gonna start off with the intro, as, <laughs> That's who's playing. Oh, okay. Sure. Oh, yeah, I know who is. The Groom. That show, it, just, it says it on the screen. It says it on the screen. I also know some other things, too. Yes. I just realized this is a one shot. It is, actually, yeah. But if you'd like one with color, this one is just beautiful. Excuse me, Mrs. Fry, I'll be right back. Get out of my store. Now, that's no way to talk to a lawman. Lawman? You're no lawman. 
and I'm not giving you one red cent, so you may as well leave now. Legron ain't gonna like this. And what's worse, something bad could happen to your store if you don't pay your taxes. Taxes? You call them taxes? Legron doesn't put any tax money into this town. We have no school, bad roads, and no law. I'm the law in Dry Gulch County. And you you're disobeying the law. You exactly got until Friday to pay your taxes. Law, but... Or else. Don't threaten me, Welch. I'll pray yeah. you right out of this town. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the day. <laughs> <laughs> God in heaven, I pray that you send an honest, righteous lawman to this town in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, so just giving a you know, brief summary of what we got so far. Yeah, so that was kind of cool. I never actually noticed that they did like one shot until he gets to the general store there. Yeah. But, I mean, so, I, I kind of noticed that, but like, mm -hmm. did not really. Same time. Well, it means yeah. more to me now that I realize that that takes a lot more effort. Like, yeah. You know, for trying sure. to follow it, but like, sure. you know, because there's another show we like to watch called The Chosen. We've got we're unofficially cheated. representing. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, um, maybe we should do The Chosen sometime. There we go. We, we, we might do that. Yeah. But um, and they did like one episode was like 15 minutes of one shot, and so we yeah. just found out that was cool. So, but so he's the sheriff of this town. Uh, it's called. I don't know if they've said it yet, but it's called Dry Gulch. Um, and you saw him go and basically steal money from people. <laughs> um, and I won't spoil, I have to be careful not to spoil everything that's going on, but uh, the, the lady is called Miss Lana. She owns the store there, and she just said that she would pray him out of the town because he's corrupt, basically, and yeah. stealing money. I never understood how he got a badge well, if he wasn't in the law, but... Well, like, I think... I think I he know. technically is, like, a sworn-in officer. But he's just crooked. But he's just crooked. He's yeah. not... She's saying you're not really a legitimate lawman. You're not following or enforcing law. Right. You're, you're, you're a criminal. Yeah. So I think... Well, hmm. we'll, we'll see. Oh, Some okay. other, other Just trying not to spoil him, but... <laughs> yes, yeah, that's true. We don't want to... But yeah. <laughs> I did watch this kind of recently, and I got... I'm thinking about it. I got new names for... Uh, some of these uh, people from like a mob standpoint. But yeah, it's not <laughs> anyway. <coughs> All right. You ready to keep going? I was going to say it kind, of, it kind of is like a mob, but yeah. It, it is kind keep, of keep going. All right, here we go. Keep going. Here's the money. Ten dollars less than last week. You still don't have the guts to lean on that lady storekeeper, do you? I got tough with her. I gave her until Friday, or else. Legrone ain't gonna like this. Well, what am I supposed to do? You could do what I did to that shopkeeper that wouldn't pay up. I'm not sure. <laughs> I can do that. And Legron is going to find somebody else to do your job. Even among thieves, not all of them are tough. <laughs> That's true. You better get tough, Welch, or you're gone. <laughs> sheriff again. He took five dollars out of my money box this morning. I can hardly afford to pay my bills because of him. Miss Lana, I've got to talk to you. I'm about to lose my barber shop. The sheriff? Sheriff? He's no sheriff. He's a hired thug. He's not collecting taxes either. He's taking protection money from every business in this town. Well, don't pay it. I don't. 
And that's what got me in trouble. Well, I can't buy shaving soap or tonic water. Well, every time I place an order, something happens to it. I can't run my business without the stuff. Sheriff Welch is behind it. No, it's not Welch. He's just a puppet. The real problem is in Silver City. Oscar Legron? Legron controls everything out of Silver City. Well, he's controlling every town in this part of the territory. Well, I guess I'll just have to move. Me too. I'm not about to move. We're going to get on our knees and we're going to pray and ask God to send us an honest lawman to take care of Oscar Legron. All right, so it's interesting, Dave. She's, once again, she's standing firm on being solid for prayer. Yeah. Which is, I think, the point of the, this episode, actually. Um, it's called the premiere episode, but it also has another name. Do you know the other name? I no? just don't know no. the other name, no. It's called God Answers Prayer. Kind of oh. makes sense, because God... I, I just knew it was the premiere episode. I think, I think <laughs> that's when they renamed it to the Cimarron Trail or something. Oh, I think they gave it a name like that. Um, but one thing I forgot to mention, very interesting, is a lot of times I've noticed, like, the characters in these shows that kind of, like, represent different things. Like, uh, I've seen it in another episode of the show that we might react to later, but it's like this one character is purposely representing the devil, mocking a person, uh-huh. and these different things. And so you'll see, like, certain characters, they represent, like, either the devil or someone being used by the devil... Uh, and these different things, you kind of see that like underlying thing is interesting, which like, we're kind of about to see a little bit of who the, they are. Yeah, but, uh, yeah it's yeah. kind of interesting. Some things she touched on was like, you know, I'm not about to move. You know, we're mm-hmm. gonna get on, on our knees and pray, and you know, it's kind of important. Some people think that you know, like trouble. Oh, I'll just you know move away from the trouble, and mm-hmm. then, you know, but mm-hmm. the trouble, the real problem isn't this person or that person the bible says that we did not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers and against the rulers of the darkness and against spiritual wickedness in high places i think i'm quoting that correctly mm-hmm. yeah the point is is the en- the real enemy is the devil not oscar or own or welch or it's not a great juice welch well that too <laughs> <laughs> grape juice is not your enemy no <laughs> there you go well, but no, but but you know the sheriff, right? Or, or right the yeah, sheriff. I was just making a joke. Yeah, <laughs> you know. but sheriff, Walsh, yeah, he's not the enemy. The yeah. Brown is not the enemy. Jet, do they say his name? I don't think they said his name yet. The other guy who hey. took the money. No, what is his name? I know, I know his, I know his name. He's he's like notorious. Oh at, yeah, at but I guess I was. I know his say name. I know his it's name kind of a dramatic yeah. moment in the episode <laughs> when they say his name. So I'll just, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll I won't yes. say it. But yeah, for sure. So. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. that guy's not the real enemy either. Right. It's the, the devil's real enemy, even in this situation. Mm-hmm. You know, so like in our own lives, you got to stand up and fight instead of running and hiding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Any other thoughts or keep going? Keep going. All right. <laughs> Please. Oh, I want to drink. <laughs> Please, Mr. LeGroom. That's all I'm asking. Just one. Sure. Just shine these boots first. Oh, yes, sir. Anything you ask. <laughs> How's that, Mr. Legron? Not bad. Here. Here's your drink. Slime. What did you call me? I said that you're slime. You two-bit drunk. <laughs> well, I'll kill you right here and now. Don't waste your bullet, Legron. I'll take care of him. Right. He ain't worth a bullet. We got in trouble. Thought you took care of that when you took care of that shopkeeper. Apparently some of those people didn't get the message. 
Just tell Welch to lean on him a little harder. Welch is the problem. He doesn't have the stomach for the job. Stomach? <laughs> He's got the stomach, all right. We should get another man. Mister, I'm looking for a man named Jack Slade. Slade? You never heard of him. Slade? Well, I know. You know him? Uh, no, I reckon I don't. So close. <laughs> Looking for a man named Jack Slade. Now, I've been told that he hangs out here. Anybody know him? Who wants to know? Bill Gunner, U.S. Marshal. Slade ain't here, so you can just leave. Now. He's a lot of That's Jack Slade right there. Why you? All right, guns on the floor, hands in the air. Thank you. So close. Now get that shotgun so and get Slade out of here. Anybody the, uh, follows me out these doors, be mm -hmm. interfering with an officer of the law. Now I treat it as such. Get out, Terry. You're gonna pay for this. Well, maybe so, but I'm tired of you pushing me around. Come on, boys, get on the horses. We're going to dry go. Uh, I can't. I, I ain't got no horse. Buy one. Come on, get on the horse. This is for your horse. It's worth ten times that much. Just put it on my bill. Bill Gunner, U.S. Marshal. Not for long. All right, so. It's a very, very interesting way to, I guess it's kind of sort of clear that he's a protagonist, protagonist now, but uh, the guy that was helping the, the Marshal like, interesting way to introduce a protagonist. Like, it's not, like, some grand entrance. Like, the marshal had a grand oh, yeah, entrance. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the first okay. time you see the other guy, mm -hmm. he's, like, you know, crawling on the floor, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know? Kind yeah, of, it's, that is of, interesting. Kind of very yeah, interesting. From, like, it's, a cinema standpoint. Yeah. It's, yeah. You, you don't you get a lot of protagonists introduced that way. Kind, yeah. kind of cool. Interesting. Yeah. I like how he, he kind of, he stands up too. You can see that he obviously has a problem with drinking. Yeah. He's willing to, you know, get on the floor and shine someone's boots for, you know, <laughs> one shot. But then when all of a sudden, you know, this guy, the, mm -hmm. the marshal's in danger, you know, he yeah. took that same bottle and, you know, so you see there's like an interesting struggle inside of him of like, I, I want it, but I don't want it kind of a thing. Yeah. You know? And, and so in real life can be that way mm -hmm. sometimes right. for sure if you've ever met with someone who wants to get free from an addiction mm -hmm. you know there's a physical side and then there's the side where they don't want it you know mm -hmm. yeah so it's very interesting and now we've seen so the guy, other guy's name is Jack Slade Jack you know? Slade yeah <laughs> he's lying it that's Jack Slade <laughs> um, and now we've got Oscar Legrone we've met this he's like a mob boss but in the yeah. old west crime ring in, in old but Old West mob. Mobster, <laughs> yeah. And he's now... It's protection money. So now we've got... We've got Jack Slade. has now been arrested. We've met... We've met... Uh, I don't think they said his name either, but we met the guy who... Uh, yeah. Has... Uh, the the guy who was drinking. Uh, and we've met Bill Gunner. So it's interesting so far. Yeah. Can, any... Any comments so far? Or? I, I already said my comments. Said so. your comments. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's keep going. All right.
Wake up. What's going on? I'm Bill Gunner, U.S. Marshal. Now open up that cell block. I got a prisoner. Look familiar? <laughs> Maybe kind of, sort of. I wonder who this guy could be. <laughs> hey! Get inside. But I'm the sheriff! Not anymore. I got See, he took his back. So, may yeah, have been a, You're finished. may have been a fake. Or may have been fake real, man. and he said it's wrong. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of a thing. They don't hey, really explain that. Guy. Hmm. I don't know. We better find out. Hey, you! <laughs> I got him, Marshal. I got him. What's Let going me go. on here? This is a man who's looking in the winter. This is what's your name? Well, I ain't telling unless you let me go. Okay, go ahead. Let him go. But he's dangerous. Let him go so he can tell us his name. Okay. Oh, oh. told you he's dangerous. <laughs> he did. Miss Lana! <laughs> hide me, hide me. The law's coming to get me. Sheriff Welch? No, the new sheriff. He's even meaner than Welch. He just locked up Welch and Jack Slade in jail. Elmer, if he did that, he's not an outlaw. Calm down. Here he comes now. What? A guy locking a, a crooked person in jail isn't crooked? Man, we're looking for a big man just came in here. Elmer, <laughs> come on out. They know you're here. Why was you looking in that jail window? I know why. It's because you're a part of Legron's crooked operation. I bet this whole town's crooked, just like Silver City. No, I'm not a crook. Uh, I'm a law-abiding citizen. He's right, mister. We're honest people. We know that Legron controls our sheriff, but we don't pay protection money. Well, I happen to know a crook when I see one, and I've seen plenty of them to know. You're a crook. He's a crook. This whole entire town's crooked. <laughs> no, these people are honest. Ma'am, I'm real sorry. My name is Bill Gunner, and I'm a U.S. Marshal. Now, I've been sent by a federal judge to clean up this part of the territory. Oh, Lord, you've answered my prayers. Pardon me? We've been praying for God to send us an honest, righteous lawman. Well, Albert, go get Lefty. He's going to want to know this. My name's Lana Osborne, but most folks around here call me Miss Lana, and this man must be your deputy. Well, not exactly. Uh, yeah, I'm the U.S. Deputy Marshal. Nicodemus is my name. Well, I'm happy to meet you. Uh, could I get you boys something cold to drink? Yes, ma'am. If it wouldn't be too much trouble, we'd like to have some lemonade. <laughs> uh, make mine a whiskey. <laughs> I don't serve whiskey. Uh, you know, on second thought, I think we'd better get back over the jail and check on our prisoners. Isn't that right, deputy? Did I say something wrong? He did. I never said anything about you being a deputy. <laughs> but you're going to need one. What was Legron being all stirred up like a nest of hornets? Besides, if it wasn't for me, that bartender would have plugged you sure. I realize that, and I'm grateful. But you can't be a deputy. I can ride, I can shoot, I can cover your backside when we get into a scrape. I know I can handle it. Mm, you'd never make it. You'd let me down. No, I know you wouldn't mean to. I never let you down. You can trust me. <sighs> Look, last night I did something I wanted to do for a long time. I stood up to Oscar Legron. He controls everybody in this territory, but not me. I won't be his slave any longer. It's not the grown I'm concerned about. Well, what is it then? It's that bottle. You're right. I'm a drunk. A low down, two bit drunk. Drinking's ruined everything good I've tried to do. Well, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. No, you're right. You could count on me. Just when you needed me most, I'd give in to the bottle. You'd be in a shootout with some outlaw, and I'd be laid up drunk in some alley. I just can't quit. I know somebody who can help you. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, he can set you free from alcohol. Wait for me, Bill. 
Nicodemus, you are about to get saved. Alright, so, it's pretty good. Yeah. I think it's not the end of the episode, we're just passing through there. But <laughs> Alright guys, come back next time. That's it. Alright, he just cleaned up the Part time. Part two. Uh, <laughs> everything just, it's a happy ending. I mean, he just, he just locked away one guy and, you know, the other guy's still in... Wasn't that a happy movie. ending? You know, yeah, no, no, but, uh, no, no. Yeah. But yeah. this moment was pretty good. Yeah. Um, you know, because he he wants to. You can see he wants to be a good guy, and a lot of people are like that. They really want to be good people, mm-hmm. but there's something, and it doesn't have to be like you know, like in this case, his you know, alcohol is, is his thing. But any type of sin is going to do that to you, where you want to be a good person, but yeah. that sin gets in your way. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. And the only thing that he could set him free is Jesus. You know, and that's true for us today in any t- any type of situation with any sin, is Jesus is the way out. Yeah. So. Yeah. I definitely like how they kind of portray like addiction here. It's a you know it's like a very simplified version, but mm-hmm. it, give, it gives you the answer. You know, Jesus is the answer. Yep. Absolutely. And yeah, there's cool cool things to this storyline to come too. Mm-hmm. And it would be nice if that was the ending, right? But it, it's actually accurate to, to real life in this. That could be the ending. Like, everything's nice and happy, you know. In most movies, and, that would probably be the ending. You know, you know? right. But, but the problem is, there's always, uh, usually, you know, good would prevail, but there's a fight mm-hmm. for good to win. Yeah. Right, you know. It's kind of interesting. We were watching another one of these recently, mm-hmm. and I realized they kind of, like, continued the storyline of him, like, battling this and obviously overcoming, but... You well, know. spoiler, spoiler oh, alert. I'm sorry. Spoiler alert. I'm sorry. Another episode, he gets tempted, what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> but anyway. Anyway. But. Yeah. yeah. Any other comments on it? I think you said most of my comments. I, I, I stole everything. <laughs> I tend to talk a lot. I can, I can talk to a camera for 15 minutes and not think about it. Hi, camera. So you're, you're going to have no. to interrupt me if, uh, you know. Oh, no, it's fine. You were saying it better than I could say it, so. <laughs> Alright, okay. Alright, so ready to keep no. going? Yeah. Alright. We saw him right earlier. It's kind of funny that like, they caught the, you know, the one guy that was actually honest and looking at what they were doing, and the guy that wasn't honest and was looking at what they were doing actually got <laughs> <True>. away. That's <laughs> true. LeGron, Wilch and Slade are locked up in the Dry Goats Jail. It's not right. too long. I want ten men to ride into Dry Goats with me. We're going to take out that U.S. Marshal. <laughs> nice bunch of people. <laughs> yeah. Nice bunch of people. I got the food you ordered and the clothes. Thank you. You can give the food that new deputy there. Congratulations. <laughs> it came Thank you. Now. New I job for a new man. man. <laughs> no more booze for me. Excuse me while I feed the prisoners. Man, he accepted Jesus as his personal savior earlier this morning. So now we know the marshal is also a Christian. I guess they didn't say that until yeah. that moment there. But yeah. That's good to know. Well, what have we here? Well, it's your dinner. I'm talking about the star. Deputy U.S. Marshal. Hey, Welch, wake up! We got us a real Deputy U.S. Marshal here. He's not a deputy. He's a drunk. Not a drunk. He's a dead man. <laughs> These people are just like the devil. You're trying right, to Slade. You know? I am a dead man. Last night, the old Nicodemus, the town drunk, the fool, the laughing stock of Silver City died. Oh, yeah, the old Nicodemus is <laughs> And I've got power over the bottle, over Lagrone, and over you. I just want to pause there real quick. Oh, yeah. is, is you said like Sorry, they're yeah. they're acting like the the devil there. It's just immediately is. there to like taunt you and like, mm-hmm. oh, you weren't really saved. Oh, mm-hmm. you you know, this this and this, and try to remind you of your past. But mm-hmm. no, because of Jesus, none of that matters. And it's good to note too that sometimes people, when you start to try to do the right mm-hmm. thing, people will do that. And in the same way, like these characters would be motivated by the devil. You know, people who do that, they're not the real problem. They're being, you know, the devil is the one that is trying to get you, and he'll speak through anyone who wants to say what, you know, he wants them to say. Yeah. You know, but I think it's really good that they did here. They talked about, 
you know, you know, he said he's a dead man. You know, he's like <laughs> you're, you're, you know, threatening him because he knows Legron is still looming out there. So he's like, you're, you know, you've chosen to stand up against him, so you're a dead man. But yeah. he's like, oh yeah, I am a dead man. You know, right. um, he's like the sinful mean died. You know, as a, you know, a scripture talks about, you know, if anyone being Christ, he's a new creation. The old has passed away, the new has come. It's like the old you that did all that when you have Jesus in your heart, that guy's dead. Yeah. You know, and you're someone totally new. So yeah. I just think that's cool they how they put that there. Yep. Yeah. Either. No, that was just totally right. thought. Right. Yeah, there was like that was like a small segment, but Yeah, I just want to cut it off there because <laughs> that was really good what they talked about yeah. there. So I just wanted to mention that. Alright, let's keep going. You're sure the new marshal's not a crook too? Lefty, he's a born again Christian just like us. Besides, He's got Sheriff Welch and Jack Slade locked up in jail. <laughs> They'll probably get out. Lefty! You know Oscar Legron's not gonna stand for this. That new marshal's gonna cause us all the trouble we can handle. This is what we prayed for. Well, I'm not so sure I didn't like it better the old way. Lefty, you're afraid. Of course I'm afraid. I know what Oscar Legron can do to this town. Well, you can hide from Legron for the rest of your life if you want to, but I'm standing up. Me too. Miss Lana, Elmer, I need your help. Sure, you can count on us. You can't count on Lefty. He's a chicken. I am not. <laughs> or two. I am not. Or two. I am not. Or two. You're afraid of Oscar Legrand. That's exactly what he wants. He controls people through fear. But we can stop him. Lana, you know the Bible. What does 2 Timothy 1, 7 say? For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And that's the message we got to get across the people of this town. Now, I want you to tell every citizen you can find about a special meeting I'm having tonight in front of that jail. This protection money we've been paying Legron, it's going to stop. I go in three hours. That'll put us in town at the sun up. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. They have like I'll give five hundred dollars for the I man that plugs Bill Justice. But he doesn't do a lot of stunts here. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't think. Maybe he does. Hey, folks, but. I've been sent to stop the corruption in this part of the territory, and I intend to catch Oscar Legron and his crooked dealings. But in the end. You're the people who are going to run him out of this town. What can we do? The has got a nest full of trigger-happy no, guns wait, up wait. there in Silver City. Listen to the marshal. We don't know anything about guns. No, wait. Let him talk. Listen. We're not going to fight with guns alone. Now, the only thing that'll stop Legron and drive him out of this town is character. Decent, honest character. Character won't stop guns. It's the only real weapon we have. Now, we can run Legron out of this town, but it'll take character to keep him and his kind out for good. Hey, hey, wait a minute. He's right. I'm tired of giving 10% of my hard-earned money to that bully. I'm standing with the marshal. Me too. Good. Yeah. Good. Lefty, what about you? All right, I'm with you. All right. Now you people are going to find out soon enough that I'm a scripture quoter. I do it because it works. Now, the book says God has not given us the spirit of fear. So the first thing we've got to do to beat Legron is to stop being afraid of him. You know, we've been scared. That's good. That's, good. That's fine. And then I need a half dozen good men who will help me to work my plan. Well, you can count on me, Marshal. Mm -hmm. that crowd? We're not done yet. I'm still not sure our deputy is what he says he is. You got any whiskey in there? Yeah. There's a bottle in the bottom right-hand drawer of the desk. Hey! 
Deputy! Deputy! What do you want? Well, uh, Welch and I were just wondering, uh, how long has it been since you had a drink? I ain't drinking no more. There's, uh, a bottle of whiskey in the bottom right-hand drawer of that desk. All right, so just kind of saw a couple interesting things there of, um, you know, because you kind of see how Legrone is kind of comparable to the devil, and even Jack Slade's kind of yeah. doing the same thing there. But, you know, it talked about, you know, the way you're going to stop Legrone is to, you got to first, you got to stop being afraid of him. Like, and that's the biggest thing I think that the devil works on to try to, like, attack people is by making them afraid of him. Like, right. he's some great big thing with great power, and he doesn't have any power. Jesus already took over that, you know? Right, yeah. <laughs> and and then he said, you know, character is, you know, when when the devil sees, and when people who, who listen to him see that you got character that's not going to bow to it, they're going to kind of back off. When they finally realize that you're not going to get manipulated, they kind of back off. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. And you saw that it made Jack Slade and Welch afraid. <laughs> and so the devil, when he sees that you're beginning to stand up against him, he gets afraid. Mm -hmm. You know? But they immediately went to try to tempt him with something. Yeah. So, he said, oh, great, you're starting to stand up, This is starting. you're starting to do good things, let me try to bring something back. Yeah. You know, which I thought was interesting. <laughs> uh, do you have any other comments no, so far? I don't have a lot to say. Not a lot to say. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going, then. Well, we had a good meeting. These people are ready to get rid of Legrone and his men once and for all. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was just thinking about something. Well, I'm gonna go out here and set up a little welcome party for those outlaws. Hey, uh... Nicodemus, are you sure everything's all right? Yeah, I I'm okay. Go on. Lord, Nicodemus is being tempted to go back to that bottle. Now, I'd like to stay with him every minute of the day till he gets that thing beat. But sooner or later, he's got to do it by himself. I pray that you'd give him strength of character to resist. I pray that his faith wouldn't fail him. In Jesus' name. This is what you can do with your bottle. <laughs> Throw it in his face. What is he to do the devil in this guy? Yeah, I mean... Um, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, with addiction, mm -hmm. you have to, um, to beat it. Um, but you have the Lord's help, and um, you see he was calling out to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Very good thing to do. And if you ever see, you know, someone struggling with addiction, pray for him. Yeah. Very, very good thing for to sure. do. And that's mm -hmm. uh, what, what Bill Gunder was doing, but, yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's all I had, just that yeah. part. That's no, very good. I agree. All right. I like the drama in this. <laughs> what? The drama. <laughs> <laughs>
They're a bad chance. That was good. Yeah. here somewhere. Keep looking. Spread out, boys, and remember, $500 to the man that plugs Gunter. Just some chair was empty. <laughs> No one's on the streets with one random guy. Yeah. Sweeping a dick. But you're not oddly suspicious when he says, oh yeah, he's just right over here. <laughs> It's, he had like the biggest talk at that moment. Like, yeah. you know, I'm going to get you. You better think, <laughs> I'm going to get you. And then he was like, oh, you know, and he didn't back down. Like, the marshal uh, didn't back down. He wasn't like, oh, you know, I guess oh, I better, no. you know. It's like, no, He's I'm gonna not going to back down. You know, you're not going to get me. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to remember if there was something. Oh, but, uh, so yeah, so the Oscar Legrone, the actor's a, he's a stunt man. He coordinates stunts. But when he yeah. beat Nicodemus in the saloon. It's kind of a, sort of a stunt. He's not the receiving end of the stunt, I guess, yeah, but he's... he's that's true. He, that's a stunt. True. He probably, coordin the, he probably the, coordinated uh, the them all. The whiskey up to the nose probably was... That's a stunt, too, yeah. Splashing the drink in the face is kind of a... 
Don't and just randomly splash people with drinks. Yeah, it's not good. That's not good. <laughs> uh, don't drink that stuff either. That's not good either. <laughs> well, yeah. But, well, I was just saying any liquid, yeah, but yeah, yeah, especially especially whiskey. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, he's probably too busy uh, coordinating all the other stunts to do too many of his own. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> anyway, maybe that's why. Uh, let's see if there's anything. I don't think too much important has happened since we. Let's see any of the comments. Not really. No. Uh, Take him on to jail. My pleasure. Come on, Legron. That's me and you go to jail. Got me some boots that need shine. <laughs> Come on, move it! He needs some boot shine. Boot shine. I like it. I like the drone's look when he realizes that Nick is doing it. He's like, oh, I know you. I always like the other guy, uh, Lefty, too, where he's like, you know. Aren't you glad we pray? We've got ourselves a Bible believing, pistol packing lawman, Bill Gunner. actor for Bill Gunner does do a little talking oh, about okay. uh, answering prayer there. But uh, I think, uh, well, we can look at it there, but it's just uh, interesting that uh, the way, uh, you know, he, he beat it with fear was through prayer and character. And yeah. Any other uh, comments on it so far? Not really. Not really. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's, this part. <laughs> let's see what's, uh, he might, he might wrap it up better than we do, so we'll see what he has to say here. So apparently there was an ad <laughs> there that, um, but he still does wrap up afterwards. So, <laughs> all right, now he's gonna wrap. Up. Now he's gonna wrap up. Yeah, okay, all right. You know the Bible says in Second Timothy one seven that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. All the people here in Dry Gulch were afraid of old Oscar Legron and his crooked lawmen. But you know, there was one person who wasn't filled with fear. Her name was Miss Lana. And she started praying and trusting God. And God sent someone, old Marshal Bill Gunner. And he came to town and cleaned out those outlaws and changed things. You know, the next time that you're afraid, don't give place to fear. Don't let it dominate you. But right then and there, find a promise in the Word of God that you can use to pray. And when you pray according to the Bible, when you find a promise that you can stand on and trust, your prayer will change things. God wants to help you just like he helps the people here in Dry Gulch. So remember, don't be afraid. You can change things with your prayers. I always thought the, the moral of the story here, like when I used to watch this years ago, mm -hmm. was like, don't be afraid. But I, now I realize the point is you can beat fear with prayer. Yeah. Somehow I just got that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I but mean, hey, I think, I think there, got it. I think there's both. Like, it's like, you know, God answering prayer because the prayer brought the marshal to the town there. Uh -huh. And uh, beat you know he beat the temptation that Nicodemus was having. He was you know, he prayed for him to have the character to beat it. Yeah. You know, and he talked about having. He talked a lot about having character actually. He had, you know, the strength of character to beat the temptation. Their character is what's going to get rid of. Yeah. You know, Legron. So I guess and I, I guess the thing I would add to that is you know, uh, um, is that the way you get that character is by reading God's word. And yeah. Spending and spending time in prayer. For sure. You know. Any uh, wrap-up comments there? Yeah, well, it's just, like, some of it felt a little bit all over the place, but that's mostly because it's, like, the premiere episode, and a lot of, like, premiere episodes, they have to, like, establish, like, the context that they're oh, in. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. And, like, do other things, too, so, like... Mm -hmm. So, they're... Because yeah. they had to introduce these different characters. Yeah, we have, like, like... Lefty and Elmer. Elmer, Nicodemus, mm -hmm. Bill Gunner, not to mention the whole situation with Legron and mm -hmm. Jack Slate and right. all that stuff, yeah. so, like... There was, there was like a lot there that it tried to tackle, but mm -hmm. it was mostly just because it was the premiere episode trying to like right, right, right. establish here is, you know, the world that we live in. So. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I mean, otherwise, otherwise pretty good. And again, I can't, I can't blame it. It's the premiere <laughs> episode. You know, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, it's definitely pretty good. Yeah. And 
uh, cut out the little ad there, but uh, <laughs> they, is, this is actually a follow-up show for uh, for a show called Gospel Bill. It's kind of like the rewriting of a, of Gospel Bill and more because it like Gospel Bill is more like a soundstage mm. show, and this was actually like a, I said, like a sitcom type soundstage thing, and this was more like you know in a like on a a set, yeah, like, like an thing. actual set. Uh, and so it was different there. And we'll probably do some reactions. i uh, say we will do some reactions <laughs> to Gospel Bill as well. But uh, I cut out the ad just because uh, they had an ad for, you know, a video. This was released it, on VHS. Yeah, um, back, back when VHSs were a thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, I don't think they're, they had like a video club that I don't think is around anymore. Yeah, they don't, I'm they assuming don't have, it's not around yeah. anymore. Maybe, maybe Yeah, they had a, a club where you could get, you know, an episode like a month and stuff like that and the club doesn't exist anymore because this was made in, in the 90s. I, think, I mean, so. nowadays with like the internet, you mm-hmm. can post YouTube videos and so right. people can see it instantly. Mm-hmm. Before it was like, Oh yeah, let's start a VHS club where we send people, you know, mm-hmm. a VHS every month. Right. So instead of, not, like, instead of like Netflix, it's like yeah. Club of the Month thing with the, that show, yeah, you know, pre-internet days. So. I don't know, if but it Veggie doesn't Tales exist anymore. That. So I cut that ad out. But, I don't mm-hmm. know if Veggie Tales had that, but they had like a similar thing of like something. You, like you that. had to get like the new VHS every time mm-hmm. they had a show. You know? yeah. yeah. Now it's just you could go on a streaming platform. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's the premiere episode of Bill Gunner. I'm sure we'll do more of these. We'll have other shows. Hey, if you have other shows, we'll probably do some music too music? here or there. Okay. Um, and I don't know what other things we could review. I guess we could react to novels, but that, that, I don't know how that would work. I don't know how that would work. I don't know how that would work. We could we could react to other people's reaction videos. We could. We could. We could react to our own videos. We, we could, could react, react to our we own. We could react to Staggernaut videos. That, that, that would be actually fun. That actually could be fun. Let us know if you want it. Of yeah. course, they can't come again, right? You can send, we have an email for I got questions at staggeringouts.com. Send, send a recommendation for something you want us to react to, review, yeah. kind of talk about, and we'll have different people, different times, different know. reactions. Yeah. There you go. I think that's uh, wraps it up there, right? That's everything. All right. I think All right. so. I think well. We'll, hmm? well, I'm well. Just saying well. well. Okay. There we go. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Be watching for more of these if you like it. And if you don't like it, then don't watch like for more it, of those. like the video. Then like the video. <laughs> <laughs> right. And with that, I think we'll send you out with uh, roll credits. Roll credits.